in about me. Uh, allow me to preach, reach, and teach the things of the Holy Ghost. Uh, I'll be so ever careful to move myself out of the way so that you can be glorified uh, and the kingdom of darkness can be horrified. Uh, come on, somebody say amen. amen. My brothers and sisters, I want to begin to suggest into your hearing in a very timely manner that this is not a time that you begin to doubt God. This is not a time that you begin to give up on God. This is not a time when you find yourself backed up into a corner and messed up in your mind. This is not a time when you allow the vicissitudes of life to begin to challenge you, to begin to frustrate you. Anytime you come into God, I want you to begin to understand that you can go through some things. You can go through some various dispositions in your life. You can go through various different circumstances and various different situations. But the Bible lets us know that the just now, if he gonna live by anything, then the just have to begin to live by faith. Uh, in other words, you're not tapping into the natural. Uh, you're not tapping into the physical. Uh, you're not looking at things that are seen. Uh, you're focusing on things that are not seen. Uh, because when you think about the seen realm, uh, you begin to realize that the things that you can see, uh, they're only temporal, even though they're accessible. Uh, you come to a point at a place in your life, hear me and hear me well. Uh, my brothers and my sisters, uh, when you want to tap to another level, another realm, another sphere, another influence, another dimension, uh, you got to come to a point and a place in your life uh, where you make up your mind unequivocally without any form of compromise. Uh, if I'm going to focus on anything, uh, then it's got to be the unseen. Uh, the Bible lets us know that there's therefore no condemnation uh, to them that are in Christ Jesus. Uh, that walk not after the flesh, uh, but walk after the spirit uh, of the living God. Uh, if you're going to be saved in this hour, uh, you got to make up in your mind to be prayed up uh, and not necessarily Played up. You got to make up in your mind that I got a rude awakening that is taking place in my spirit. You got to make up in your mind that this one is a guaranteed calling. You got to make up in your mind just like Joshua. As for me and my house, we gonna serve the Lord. You got to make up in your mind that the race is not for the swift, nor the battle for the strong. In other words, my family in this awesome serendipity this ministry. You got to have endurance. You got to make up in your mind that the enemy going to come against me. The very fiery dots going to burn me. It's going to be some opposition and some obstacles. It's going to be some projectiles. It's going to be some negativity. It's going to be some weight that's holding me down. It's going to be some frustrations in my life. It's going to be some hindrances. It's going to be some diabolical intentions. But when you stand upon Christ's solid for a foundation. It means that you've come to a point of